Concerns this evening on why the media was barred from attending the hearing for the Bob Marley Beach civil suit between environmental activists, the government, and the developer. The trial date was expected to be set today, but it was postponed after the government submitted additional documents. Kalisha Williams was there. So right now I'm at the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Sutton Street in downtown Kingston and the proceedings for the Bob Marley Beach matter is happening right now in courtroom one. I went as far as the door but I was told the media is not allowed. In fact the police officer was quite dismissive. He was not willing to speak to me or address me in regards to why the media is not allowed but uh, I was told that there will be no press in this uh, court proceedings today. So we waited on the outside to get an update on what was happening inside the court. Dr. Marcus Goff is the attorney representing the beach activists. Well, this is a public interest matter. You know, these plaintiffs have filed this case on behalf of the public at large, only themselves, and so the public has a basic interest in this case. It must be noted that the media protocols from the court administration of Jamaica also state that court hearings, with the exception of a few, are open to the public and the media is welcomed to report on them. That aside, the suit was filed against the government and a developer amidst plans that a major hotel will be constructed on the Bob Marley Beach property. Several groups, including the Jamaica Beach Birthright Environmental Movement, JABEM, were concerned that the development could prevent beach access for the public as well as a family who lived on the property for decades. Now, today, the trial date should have been scheduled. But we were just served with some documents yesterday by the government on behalf of the Commissioner of Lands. And so we would need more time to be able to review those and to have some further discussions with them uh, towards you know, any future uh, date. So that's what we did today. We agreed a date that we would come back to court in May. Um, to see where we next go from here. Dr. Goff said essentially the government has filed a special defense stating that it is not the one who owns the land at the Bob Marley Beach property that the claimants are concerned about. They say they have no dispute with uh, the people uh, who use that you know, public beach and so they are saying that uh, they are not the right ones who are before the court. Well next we want to continue to do some um, research to exactly see who else we need to maybe bring into the case, right? <laughs> um, and also to prepare ourselves for what will eventually, may eventually go to trial in this matter. So we'll be preparing our witnesses as well too, persons who have been affected by the beach as well, so we can see how we can then present the best case to the court going forward to preserve the public's rights. I also wanted to get a response from the attorney representing the government here today, but because I was not inside today's proceedings, I could not readily identify him. And when I went to ask, I was told he had already left. Reporting from Sutton Street in downtown Kingston, I'm Kelisha Williams for TVJ News.